guys, it's me now, Jay, and today we're acting to season six, episode one of Buffy. We're now approaching a new season, a new era. I've heard promising things about this season. Literally heard from like several people that season six is probably their favorite season thus far. And I'm so excited to dive in. It's kind of sad. Um, we are now two seasons away from the show ending, and I've grown attached to the show within a whole year. I've been watching since December of 2020, I believe to now and i started posting in january 2021 to now be approaching like a whole year and a half mark is actually kind of unsurreal buffy has become at least my top three favorite shows of all time with buffy being like my top five favorite characters of all time i feel like she's not even top three um she's definitely in top three for sure I fell in love with so many of these characters. I've grown a task. I got emotional. I've been so excited to see their storyline progress and watching, you know, these kids who were like sophomores in high school, 16 to now being 20 to 21 year olds is such a surreal fit a feeling. I feel like I grew with them as a family and even as a friend. I'm part of the scoops. I 100% allow it. I am definitely a fan. I'm definitely a part of the scoops. I don't know what to tell you I'm part of the scoops. I'm fighting an invisible hair. Please, excuse me. But last episode was called The Gift. It was an emotional episode, clearly because Buffy died, in quotation marks. This was a continuation of Glory, who once again, Glorificus, had snatched up Dawn. And she was ready to fulfill her duty, which was to obviously be the key and open up the dimensions. To open up that portal and wreck her ass back home. Her words, not mine. But... 521 it ended off with Buffy finding out from Giles that in order for her to defeat Glory she has to kill Dawn so she's like <laughs> bitch what it ended like how like it, she, like it ended off so like iconic I was like no ma'am but we get sidetracked the beginning of the episode starts off with this guy running into the alleyway he's getting chased by a vampire who is about to kill him obviously Buffy comes out she's like it was getting very much season one a little bit her little her swagger was back her little smart attitude my queen came back devoured told the guy to skedaddle call the police to the magic box and they're talking about the information that they gained which is pretty, pretty much it's like you got to kill dawn and since the key is a living energy it can be placed in a specific time at a specific spot therefore glory probably knows where that spot is so when they get there and they obtain the key that's how they'll be able to obviously open the portal and it will obviously break the walls in between dimensions therefore everything will be merging every kind of demon from every other dimension will come together and merge into earth or vice versa glory intends on using her no she ends up slight she intends on slicing dawn and using her blood to open the portal to return her home not even caring that the whole you know the dimensions that she's going to open is going to cause stuff to come into earth if the energy once the energy is stopped once the energy is like stopped that means everything will go back to normal but that means that there will always be there will already be demons on every other plane of the world and also dawn would essentially bleed to death it won't stop until her last blood comes down and obviously if you know um dawn's blood is buffy's blood giles is like killing dawn is the only solution and buffy's like listen i'm not doing that if anybody tries to get to dawn i'm gonna have to kill you like you're not getting near her i'm not letting that happen there has to be another way we're going to fight glory and whatever I say, go. Pretty much saying that if you're trying to, you know, do that, you're not gonna, you're not gonna succeed. I'm not letting you get near dawn. And Giles is like, if Glory succeeds in our plan, every person on Earth will have to be like, they'll go through pain, agony. Like these are demons that we probably don't even know how to destroy. And Buffy's like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Buffy's like, she's more than a sister to me. She's literally me. She's a part of me. Like that's me and her. I see myself in her. So she's going to, she's putting her friends, she's putting her sister above her friends and everybody in the world, essentially. Anya, she starts suggesting plans, which Giles and Spike try to fool, but to find out what actually came in, you know, into gear. Xander, he's like, yo, we should kill Ben. Like, well, he's Glory. Why don't we just kill him and end it? Even though he's innocent, his death would obviously kill Glory and make an end to this. However, Giles points out that Ben, um, Ben will probably surface or resurface or appear during the ritual. So, you know, no one can work around how to kill Lori. Like, we either had to end her before she turns or have to kill Dawn, either or. If she fails, she most likely won't get another chance to, you know, if it happens. But Tara, she starts to babble about, like, she has somewhere to be. She has some place to go. And then they realize that Tara most likely knows where the ritual is, is taking place. So they follow her to, you know, they, they're going to go, they're going to go follow her. 
while you know while this happens glory you know he knows about ben knows about glory's plan he tries to talk to dawn and dawn is like i don't want to see you you're a betrayer i want to see glory i want to see glory starts yelling that she wants to see glory because she don't want to see in the eyes of a, a betrayer you know he set her up you know leaves with glory she's she owns that she's a bad person and he's like pretty much offended which i'm like sorry you literally gave her up for dead glory transforms and you know she says that she's going to be killed buffy she's going to just you know and suggest that you know the slayer can't take me blah 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 blah. at the magic box buffy's training she's you no know, she's hearing everybody else everybody works on ideas they they pretty much you know just trying to figure out what's going to happen she has a talk with giles and she's like you know i don't know why this is difficult you know my love for angel you know i love angel with all my, my all my heart i knew what i had to do which i knew i had to sacrifice angel to save the world even though it broke my heart i knew that it was the right choice so why can't i do this now um but you know buffy she talks to giles and she's like she realizes that she's sacrificed so much and you know she don't understand how you know she's meant to live in this world where this world demands so much from her that the world meant to take every ounce of happiness she has angel took it away now she has to kill dawn Dara took her mom away it's like she has nothing left they head to where where the tower is at glory recognizes them and she's like what are you doing here willow sneaks up on her yaks her out gets the gets you know takes the brain juice out and then tears back Ter you no know, but the buffy boss are coming and buffy and the buffy and glory and the buffy boss are fighting glory thinks she got the upper hand when she knocks the buffy bot head off but buffy's like glory for a god you're actually stupid the reptile guy comes and kicks him off of the tower and is like listen we're going to finish this ritual while glory's distracted gets a knife and tries to slice her while this happens buffy she's getting the upper hand after they use a dragon spear and then since she's like losing it after you know willow did the spell buffy starts dicking her up buffy starts like beating her the fuck up doing all these type of things they start fighting on like the tower swinging back and forth like tarzan we like buff like buffy was eating but giles comes in he, he said he put them glasses on suffocated that man to death because he was like she wouldn't kill people like that i'm like we he's like we he done suffocated that man a man just did it he slices dawn and Buffy like throws him off the side and she, you know too late the blood started sparking up the portal because they reached the time the portal comes demons start flying again big ass dragons and shit like that and Buffy gives a speech to Dawn she's like listen be brave um and you know she's telling her and because Dawn is like I'm gonna do it you know I is my blood's causing this you know I'm gonna go in the portal I'm gonna jump into the portal and Buffy's like no you're not doing that Buffy decides to take the ultimate, the ultimate sacrifice, which is what death is her gift meant. She finally meant, she meant, realized that the monk, the guy was telling her that her death was the gift. Buffy jumps into the portal and you just see her dying slowly as the, the electric shocks start hitting her. The portal closed, she falls to the ground. Everybody's surrounding her as she's dead. And we skip to everybody looking at her crying in the emotional scene. And it ends with a um a ceremony, you know, her in the cemetery, Buffy and Summers, 1981 to 2001. Updating that, we also have Angel, who 222 ended, and we find out that Willow showed up to tell Angel the news that Buffy has died. So, I'm excited to start the season. I'm really, really excited to start this ride. So let's. Dive in. Hello, oh. that's over the hill shopkeepers. I'm fine. I just need to catch some dry for a minute. It's a powdery. What? Oh, you tell tell the path quickly. Willow out here. Vampire circling back towards you. Six o'clock. Oh, she out of portion. Try to drive him towards the Van Elton. Big, fast, and dumb. Mm. Just the way I like him. Big, fat, and big. <laughs> Buffy. Um. That's the way of my brain. It's kind of intrusive. Yeah, where are you gonna get to it? First or something. Xander. I know, I know, I don't have to talk when I answer you. But I saw the fury, and that way lies spooky carnival death. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Damn! Well, thank you, Willow, because he threw her. It's going to be a dream or something. I don't know. True, I guess. You see? Smart idea. Spike, while well, Spike trying to light a cig, he said, let me light this up. Uh -huh. I'll put marzipan in your pie plate, bingo. Oh. And the underworld, 
you that Buffy is alive and well. And I will therefore fix it. I got her head back on, didn't I? We want her to be exactly. She'll never be exactly. I know. The only really real Buffy is really Buffy, and she's gone who? Oh. Those lesser-known monsters that make living in Sunnydale so hard. I believe that that is a Dawn monster. <laughs> she brought them yesterday. Ooh, pancakes could go in bellies. Oh. Another cat! Oh, the new, the new. Donnie. <laughs> it makes you wanna return clogs, don't you think? Ah. That kiss. Don't hurry up. Morning. Morning. I was thinking we could go over your programming again. Programming. Again? You've done enough, sweetie. She's either ready to face this thing or she's not. Who's going to eat all that? Oh, Damn! Uh, Buffy! And I got her started, but then I forgot to unstart. Um, it could be my dad. He said he'd call Fuck today. Hank! I'll just say hello. He's my biological ancestor. Biological ancestor? Hello. Is my phone manner not correct? Oh, it, it, it's perfect. Mm, it's just not... we can't take the chance that Mr. Summers might talk to you and know something's wrong. Um, this is our city of the future. I made the hover cars. They're orange juice can't see. Oh, God. I don't think I know of a breed of humans this small. Who's going to live here? Come on, Wacky Buffy. See you, Mr. Oh, Davis. Yeah. Buffy about to be like, bitch, what is this for? I ain't learned this in the encyclopedia. Miss Summers. No. School is where you learn. Oh. <laughs> As they are about the lunch hour. I helped make lunch today. <gasps> oh. Yes, before school. Lunch program. Oh, but It's true. Something has to be done about the quality of the food. Okay, buff. Start that conversation, boo. Something. Shit, I thought I was about to fall. I thought I was going to melt into the fucking floor the way that this was about to set up. Yeah, right, right. Oh, and the magic box became a chill box. Did he close business off? Uh huh. Aren't you Mr. Dicey Semantics? So, what, you think you can just take anything you want? What? <laughs> Get it? You They're gonna it. break it. Ow! 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 <laughs> Ow! Brokey, stop. <laughs> Trying to get mad at him? What's up? And maybe he shouldn't even be going at all, but we can't talk about that. And it all just leaves me with this stress and bossiness stored up, and it just leaks out. Yeah, because he might have to go back to England to be a new, um, watch his new slayer. We can't announce our engagement while yeah, things are so up in the air. Why not? Okay. It's happy news. Happy news in hard times is a good thing. Boring. Perfect teachers, but that's all schools are, you know. There's factories, spewing well, out mindless little automatons. Your fancy bit, uh, Game and Rummy? Well, um, Willow and Tara said they'd be back early. Yeah, for what? Like, what is you the big event? You don't really have to hang. Well, I'm just saying. Uh, no. I'm not leaving you to get hurt. So people can see. Don't you run into this small ass area? <laughs> of course, a vampire. Don't be scared. The Slayer, yeah, dude. Not you. I mean, yeah, uh, Trigo had to be some state. Oh! You're, you're, you're a machine. Oh, the malfunction. Vampires, beware! Oh my God, no! Giles finds out. Well? He's too busy not leaving to pay attention to me. Besides, I ended mm -hmm. up getting it on eBay. eBay. You found the last limited edition Backstreet Boys lunchbox for um, <coughs> a friend. <laughs> this is deep stuff, Willow. Yeah, I think I know what they're doing. Talking about raising the dead. I told you what I say. What did it's I? Time we stop talking. What did I say? Tomorrow I'm smart. I even told you. Bringing Buffy back. Exactly. Bring my daughter back. The thing against all the laws of nature and yeah. practically impossible to do, but it's what we agreed to. Oh, Tara, she if, breaking rules. If you rules. guys are changing your mind, exactly. nobody's changing their Tara, minds. Tara, Tara was the realest one. She said she ain't doing Excuse that me? shit. Now she changed her mind. Wait. Don't, oh. It's not like he's going anywhere. <laughs> ever. No. Anya, please. No one else can know. Not Giles, not Spike, not Donati. Yeah. Not her soul. But her soul. Her essence. I mean, that could be somewhere else. My daughter. Who's my daughter? Like, I don't know. I don't know what y'all want me to say. You 
imagine though? Like Dawn and them coming back one day and Buffy's like, hey bitch. Okay. Splendid. How try it again. Think of the brain. Now you like, so I need you to go. That's what she said. Air is a, a life source. I don't require oxygen to live. She's not the descendant of a long line of mystical warriors. She's the descendant of a toaster oven. Oh. Yes, well, I appreciate your input. I don't know why she, like, no, pushing him away, though, yeah, like... Your, your responses are fine. You don't want, like, come on, you don't know how he feels, honestly. It's kind of fucked up. Give me emotion right now, please don't do this. I just can't help but wonder if she would have been better off without me. Stop, you fucking, don't you dare. Juicy. Oh, that wasn't your fault. No, of course not. That's how all Slayer watch your relationships end, isn't it? Then why are you still here? It's my duty. She's a menace to our society. <laughs> so we fight. You imagine Buffy like, if, 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 if Buffy Boss still continues to live when the Buffy Slayer comes? man. It was like a trick. He fought, right? And I was like all over her. You do got leather clothes. Buckles in your face. Slayers are replaced by some kind of machine. You can let me throw it. Sir. I'll think it over. He does this man. Let's I mean, it's a bop. I mean, may have to deal with you. I sound called. They got that iCloud. Oh, my Balama. You imagine if Wilson sees know. this? Hello, May. Come forward. Little baby dear. Accept our humble gratitude for your offer. The cut? Willow said, bitch, somebody gonna die. For my sis Buffy. Wine of the mother. Kind of black market stuff. Black mm. market? You, you didn't tell me that. You shouldn't have gone alone. It could have been dangerous. Girl, it was custom made. Uh, it's your lucky day then. I have something that will distract you. Whoa. Whoa. I've gone. Not one for long goodbye, as I thought it best to slip out quietly. Love to you all, Giles. Wow. I was trying to avoid a scene, really. I thought this episode would not like make a scene. Remind you of all the good food you won't be eating. <laughs> she is so and, and, and a monster, sort of a Sunnydale. Suit. Really funny, but the guy who lives in the box in front of the store, yeah. What's the funny? Say so thought you ate, as we said. Well, if you're gonna do this, let's do it properly. You think you come to the theater with new shit? No. I do. I promise. This is so annoying. I come back to no peace. Somebody please say something. I don't even know, man. I just there's no way that you're letting him walk past like this. There's no way. Eight hours ahead. What's he gonna do over there by himself? I mean, he never talks about people. I mean, he's leaving right when we're ready to do the thing tonight. I know, I had hoped we'd figure it out before he, uh... Vanished? Mm. Oh my god, they're gonna do the spell. Everybody have their candles? They're gonna do the spell and it's gonna cut off, right? My lighter won't stay lit. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Tested, this, this is what's supposed to happen. Damn. Osiris. Here lies the oh warrior of the people. Let her cross over. What the fuck? She needs help. Xander, she's strong. She said not to stop no matter what. The fucking biker bitches, no! Oh no. Oh no. Y'all got the fucking street. Oh my god, sit the fuck down. Like, y'all fucking up my spell, bitch. Now I'll just do it. All right. I guess it's gonna be. Did he do it at us? What? It's a test. It's a test. Wow. Just end it. Slayer, I've been hearing interesting things about you. 
You gotta be kidding. Oh, my Freddy Krueger? You thought you ate, but... I would, but you've injured me. Oh, no. Okay. Get a steak somewhere, boo. God damn! please this dumb bitch this stupid pointy elven bitch gotta go all right you know what i don't know what to tell you i don't know i all them bitches on that bike to die now they gotta die they gotta die i don't know what to tell y'all oh god everything was in retro grave y'all stupid bitches oh my damn that was buffy decaying body hey little mama Ooh, you a stunner <laughs> well <laughs> buffy's back first of all three months i didn't that's got me kind of scared. So that means that when we all die in three months, we looking like that damn grandma from SpongeBob. Is that what I'm getting? Out of pocket. Buffy is saved. Lord, let's get into this mess. Hey guys, that was my season six, episode one, part one of A Bargain um, Reveal to Buffy. Let me tell you something right now. The fact that we've seen stakes. This whole season already starting off with every character so mature. Um, I don't I feel like Giles will come back at some point. I feel like they was doing precautions in case the spell backfire like how it would have possibly been for Dawn. But like Giles should have still knew. I honestly I wonder, I think Hell, I guess since this is Hell Moth, it's probably the worst it's been for a Slayer. But the fact that, like, they're using that Buffy bot to continue what a Slayer would have done so it wouldn't have caused this chaos, this recklessness, the demons out here trying to rule the world and cause chaos and destruction and rebel and shit and try to rule Hell, you know, Hell Moth because a Slayer is not in town, which means they can do whatever they want. Which is what, I mean, how bad was it before Buffy came? Like, it got as fucking preferred, like, mostly worse now. Motherfuckers is at a fucking bar now. And they coming to do everything they want. But like I was saying, this episode alone shows the stakes that's going to happen this season. And I'm already liking the vibes. Everybody is, like, so more mature. Their hair is growing. They're looking very more adult, especially Xander. Um, and they're processing and they're doing bigger bigger things with all Giles like they didn't even tell Giles about this because I feel like Giles Spike and you know Dawn they were affected you know they were affected just like everybody else but I feel like they were the most affected because Giles key don't want to leave um you know Dawn that's her sister and Spike is obviously in love with Buffy so those were the ones that would have hit been hit effectively worse if they found that the spell didn't work Willow she's putting on her strong suit and I feel like with Tara and Anya they often have like they, they love they miss and care about Buffy but they didn't know Buffy that long you know compared to the others Willow she's doing a spell she's lying to Tara already which means that if she's doing these spells and lying about where she's getting these black market items I can only tell you the shit she will do to bring anybody back. And if this succeeds, this is obvious. This spell obviously succeeded. That means that she's gonna be doing something else later on. She might do anything in her power to do a spell that may not be well. She killed a damn deer, an innocent baby deer, in cold blood for her best friend, as she should. Buffy looking like a damn dried pear. My guess came back and is probably lost. She's damn near six feet under that sacrifice spell was so i mean that resurrection spell was fucking wild that means that if dawn, i don't know i don't know if it would have been different but like because dawn went on soil but if that that happened to willow would that have been the same thing that happened to dawn i know for a fact dawn would not have been able to handle that I know for a fact Dawn would have not been able to handle that. I don't know if the spell is different because I maybe do different resurrection spells, but she had to put a damn deer blood on her while Dawn had a picture. So that could have been different type of things. I guess since that one from natural causes and Buffy's from mythology, I mean yeah, from mystical source. But imagine if Dawn did that shit. Plus we got, you know, Xander and Anya, they're engaged still, and I guess Anya's keeping it hidden because we didn't see a wedding ring. 
Um, I guess they're waiting until everything's good, which I'm happy because last episode I was like, I wonder will they get married and it'd be a time jump. Yeah, it was a time jump, like it, like I expected, a three month time jump, like how it was for season two to three or season one. I mean, season one to two. Uh, I don't know if season two to three was a time jump. Kind of feel like it was. I feel like every year is probably a a, a, a summer jump because everybody's starting school every season but yeah it was another three month time jump they're still hiding their marriage i wonder if anya proven that she can handle owning you know the magic box because giles is giving it to her if he comes back i'm wondering if he's going to take it back because anya obviously feels like she's you know she's more she's able to maintain this business and handle herself now which i'm proud of because we've seen anya grow so much last season Tara, she using a spell. We haven't seen her use a spell in a minute. The fact that she's back. My daughter is back. Oh my god. Her and Willow kissing. Like we got a whole Willow and Tara kiss. Like, yes. CW said, let me give you kisses. As you should. The fact that we got that within like a first few minutes of the show showing coming on. Are you dead ass? We love to see. We love to see it. Another thing is I like they spent three months crafting this Buffy bot to do a lot of things. And I honestly you know big bless to willow i mean obviously we expected willow to be the mastermind behind the buffy bot update because she had a big ass scare 108 yeah i remember that 108 where i was like in my fucking boots when she was out here dating this damn demon monster computer man but once again you kind of can see everybody's grieving point this episode like dawn she's trying to hold i feel like she's handling it as well as i expected to um you know she lost her sister She's out here pretty much parentless because Hank is not worried about her. And they have to lie and paint this facade that Buffy's still alive. She's seeing Buffy be around her, but it's not even really Buffy. You know, she got to go to school and pretend like everything's fine, doing schoolwork, having parent meetings, and it's not even really Buffy. I can only imagine how she's feeling. Plus, you have Giles who supposed to have left immediately like you know how watches would have been if they wasn't attached to their, their their slayer he stayed for three plus months even though he was supposed to leave he wanted to stay because he wanted to make sure that everybody was okay and even before he left he wanted to make you know sure that dawn was still able to be okay in that premise spike he's literally he's it's hitting him hard too because he's out here he got mad when Don was like, you should like go home. He slammed that damn that damn table. He felt that he was let down too, just like Giles. They both felt like they were let down because they promised each other. or they, I mean, not promised each other, but they promised to themselves that they would save Buffy or help Buffy. You know, he, Spike confessed how she made him um, feel. He loses her after, she, you know, she promised, but she did promise him to watch Dawn. So he's not, he's going to take that shit serious. He's not going to let Dawn and lose her, just like how he lost Buffy. Giles, you know, he lost, he said he lost her on duty calls, but you can't be everywhere, you know. She was a slayer and technically she did do her job and she took the risk. Every slayer has a death wish, which came into play. Once they mentioned that shit in the beginning of season five, I knew that she was going to come in some way, some form. Let alone that we got, you know, Spike not even wanting to look at the Buffy by who he literally was had created for him. And he even like flinched and looked disgusted when this the Buffy bot said anything about his his what was called surf wash but washboard abs or something like that. Like he was so triggered because he's at a point now where before season in the end of season five he didn't care if it was a real Buffy or not. I mean, well, even though it wasn't really gonna be Buffy, he at least had a Buffy that would not be disgusted with him. And now he's disgusted by it, and he wants the real Buffy compared to the fake one, which is a, which is shocking because you know like that's. Because normally, like, you know, he was a demon, so demons don't know right from wrong. But he realized that he don't want that. He don't want the fake buff. He wants the real one. Then you have, you know, Xander and Anya, who's been, like, nervous about this whole thing because they know how bad this spell could, you know, f you know flop. And they've been postponing this. And the fact that Willow, once again, like I said, in the, the finale of season five, she's going to have to put on her big leader boots. And she essentially became the leader of the season. I mean, well, the leader over the three months to make sure and took the big risk she was going to take the big risk that no one else did like how she did the risk in season two and bring you know angel soul back these spells that do big things is going to take repercautions it's going to take sacrifice it's going to take a powerful witch 
which they've hinted for seasons that Willow is a powerful witch and she's not going to give up. And to be honest, like, imagine if Willow wasn't the leader or imagine Willow wasn't there. The, they would have let, basically let Buffy die. Like, she tried, she found a loophole through death for this resurrection spell for it to work. Endured that torture, slicing of the arms, and the way that she was so mad when that big ass demon came and broke that Osiris. Like, you really see the importance of Buffy to them. Like, they, it's like, it's like, they didn't even want to say Buffy name. It's like, as if it was a curse. Like, are still in denial of her late dying. And then they have to, like, while in the process of, like, knowing that Buffy's gone, they have to sit here and act like everything's okay and that they got to continue to move on. Or, like, oh, yeah, well, she's not going to be the real Buffy. You really see the importance of her. And, like, Buffy, she's really my child. So, I cried emotionally because with Willow and Tara, I mean, like, Will, like, Willow and Giles, every scene they have with Buffy or about Buffy or with each other, it's always emotional to me because, like, you really get to see the emotions that they feel for these characters. Like, every character's, like, the relationship is so genuine, which is why I relate to them more than I do on Angel, is because their relationship and feelings is so genuine with each other. Even if they're lying to each other or not telling each other the full story, you really see that there's so much heart and soul in these scenes that they watch Giles leave, no, being like, damn, I wish I could tell him, but who would have known if this spell worked? Um, I'm wondering they're going to tell him. I'm wondering how long it's going to take because Buffy got to get the fuck up. She got to kick the casket, kick like six fucking feet of dirt. <clears throat> Lord knows, but I feel like it's going to be iconic when she comes back and kicks the ass of those fucking demons that caused World War fucking 83,000 on the fucking Hunt Sunnydale land. Burning shit down, breaking glasses, pushing couples down, couples being drove around, motherfucker doing 360 spins on people's cars. It's going to be a lot. And the this this episode alone already got me fucking excited for this season. I don't even know the villain yet because I feel like this was just a regular deck ass like monster before we get into the big threat. I'm so excited and so, so, so interested to see what's going to happen with everybody. Character developments. Um, I'm really excited to see how Angel's going to react. Once again, you know, I'm a banjo, banjo whore. And Buffy coming back is definitely a big plus. And Willow and Buffy's friendship already is like exceeding limits, which I don't even think is possible. Because she was not going to let Buffy rest. She said, girl, you're getting the fuck up. She said, bitch, you didn't die of a natural death. Get up. <laughs> she said, y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. And the frightened face that Buffy looks as if like she like she like obviously died, so she probably still in like death dying moment. She's like, "Damn, I just died! Like, what happened, girl? You're back alive, the land of the living. It's time to get the season started. Season six, rise up, rise the fuck up. We're here. I'm trying to get excited. I'm trying to get all this excitement out because I feel like I'm going to get emotional because dead ass." I'm going to be losing Buffy in like two in one more season. Like after this season, I have another season, and I'm losing her. Um, and I feel like I might. I don't know if I'm going to cry because the show's ending. I'm going to cry emotion. I feel like I'm going to cry from both ends because like I did as to me. This show has been important to me so so much. It helped me a lot when during like my fucking summer classes when I was stressed out. It was a show that I watched and helped me a lot because it was it was obviously my first semester. Um, during COVID happening, and um, it, yeah, it was it was it was it was a big one. Um, but anyway, that was my season six episode one reaction to Buffy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more Buffy reactions. Patreon will be linked for full extended Buffy Angel Sailor Moon reactions. Twitter and Discord will be linked so you can talk to me about the future episode or talk check me out for future updates. Until next time, make sure you say peace.